A year ago, U.S. medical researchers were hopeful about possible new treatment options that could benefit the 250,000 children born each year with the virus that causes AIDS. Dr. Hannah Gay made headlines for treating the Mississippi baby born to an HIV-infected mother four years ago. It was given three powerful HIV drugs immediately after birth and thought to be cured of the virus. I thought, oh my goodness, I have been treating a child who's not actually infected. Right. But Dr. Gay and her colleagues got some bad news after tests revealed the toddler is now HIV positive after 27 months with no treatment. Dr. Anthony Fauci is head of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. I don't mean to, to play down the disappointment, but when you're in the discovery phase of research, you're gonna fail more often than you succeed. So. I certainly don't think this is a step forward, but it is not a step backward because there's a lot to be learned. Dr. Deborah Prasad, along with two other colleagues, are overseeing research aimed at curing newborns of AIDS. The New England Journal of Medicine published their groundbreaking research last year. Undeterred by the latest setback, Dr. Prasad is back in the lab looking for answers. So while our research is focused on the Mississippi babies, treatment regimen, we have a broad agenda in trying to figure out how to reach this state of viral remission or cure in infected children who were not fortunate enough to be able to benefit from a treatment strategy such as the Mississippi baby. Dr. Fauci says researchers now want to find out why HIV rebounded in the Mississippi baby and how the toddler was able to go so long with the virus in remission. So something was keeping the virus suppressed. We need to know what that was, and we also need to know what triggered it. So there's a lot of things we need to learn as we go forward. But there's no guarantee we're going to get a cure. We may be faced with the fact that we do have to treat people indefinitely. We don't know that right now. Dr. Fauci and other HIV AIDS researchers say they have a lot more work to do to improve testing and treatment in their quest towards prolonged HIV remission in newborns and an eventual cure for AIDS. Chris Simpkins, VOA News, Washington.